First question is find the circumference of a circle with a radius of 4.2 cm. So let me tell you that the circumference, the formula is 2 pi r and the area of a circle is pi r square. So if I make a circle and this is the center and this is the radius. Then the circumference of a circle is the boundary. The boundary of this region or you can say the periphery of this region is nothing but the circumference. So we'll use the formula 2 pi r. So pi we'll use it as 3.14. This is a standard value. 3.14 into and then r. r is what? 4.2 is the radius. So 4.2. When you calculate it, it will come to be 26.4 centimeter. Find the circumference of a circle with area this much. So here the area is given and we know that area is equal to pi r square. So this is given as 301.84 equal to pi is 3.14 into r square. So this is 3.14 in the denominator. If you take the root, the r is going to come as 9.8. This is what you will get when you take the root of this. And now the circumference, because the radius is known, circumference is 2 pi r, so 2 into 3.414 into r, that is 9.8. And this is going to come as 61.6 centimeter. Please understand that the area is always in the square units and the circumference, because it is simply the length of the periphery, it is going to be the centimeter, that is the unit value. Find the area of a circle whose circumference is 44 centimeter. So now the circumference is given. Circumference is 2 pi r, and this is 44. 2 into 3.14 into r equal to 44. So we are going to get r from here. So r will be equal to 44 by 2 into 3.14. So you are going to get uh, this as 7. Now the radius is known. The area area of a circle is pi r squared. Pi r squared, so pi is 3.14, r is 7, so 7 into 7. So this is going to be 154. Now, this is the centimeter square unit because it is an area. The circumference of a circle exceeds its diameter by 16.8 centimeter. Find the circumference of the circle. So the circumference of a circle exceeds its diameter by 16.8. That is, if the diameter is, say, d, the diameter is d, then the circumference will be what? Circumference will be 16.8 plus. So, see d plus 16.8. Right? This is circumference. But we know the formula of circumference. This is 2 pi r. And we know that diameter is nothing but radius by 2. So, I can write d as r by 2. This is going, this is going to be the equation. Now, what you can do here is, since uh, this d is the circumference and this is d, so the circumference can be written because it is already given. So you can either find the radius from here and then you can go up to the circumference that is 2 pi r you can compute. But you have to find out the circumference. So this is the circumference. So you just have to find out the diameter that is diameter by 2 that is radius by 2 plus 16.8. So let it be c only. Let it be C only, and we are being told that this diameter, the circumference of a circle exceeds its diameter by 6.8, 16.8. This is D plus 16.8 as written, but what we have to do here is that ultimately the radius has to be computed. So circumference, this is 2 into uh, 3.14, so it is going to be 3.14 into 2, so 2 into 3.14 into R, and this is 0 0.5 r, so let us take it as r by 2, so 16.8, 2 into 3.4 into r minus 0 0.5 r is equal to 16.8, so this r is 3.14 into 2 is 6.28 minus, this is 0 0.5, right, 2 into 3.14 is 6.28, I am taking r outside, and this is 0.5, so 6.28 minus 0 0.5 equal to 16.8. So r is going to be 6.28 minus 0 .0, 0 0.5. So this is going to be 8 and 12 and 5. So you get you get a 7 here and 5. 5.78. So 16.8 by 5.78. So you are going to get the radius as 3.92.
see 5 is a 50 so around 3.92 you'll get now this is the radius now you can find out the circumference so 2 into pi into 3.92 and this is going to come as 24.64 a horse is tied to a pole with 28 meter long string. Find the area where the horse can graze. So there is a horse which is tied to this pole. Now when you have a horse, say this is the horse. Now when the, say the, it is being attached string, let us take it as a straight string. Now he, when the horse moves around, it will make a circle. So this is a radius. This is a radius. So radius is nothing but 28 meter. So when the radius is given, because he is going to graze only this area, because the string is fixed length, so he may move around or he may revolve around, and that will be only as the axis or as the point, center point, which we call it as the center of the circle. So now the, we just have to find the area. Area will be equal to pi r square. Pi is 3.14. R is 28, 28 into 28. So this you are going to get as 2464 meters square. A steel wire when bent in the form of a square encloses an area of 121 centimeters square. If the same wire is bent in the form of a circle, find the area of the circle. So the steel wire when bent in the form of a square, that is, if you take a square, it is going to be Say so this is the side, A is the side, and all the sides will be equal, right? And the area is given as 121 centimeter square. So we know that the area of square is what? A square, side square. So we are taking A square, 121. And A will be equal to 121 under root. This is going to be 11. So the side of the side of this um, square is 11. So this is 11. And what is the circumference of circumference of a square? That is going to be 4A, 4 into side. So 4 into 11, that is going to be 44. Now this is 44 and that means the steel wire, the length is 44. The same wire is bent to form a circle. Now we are making a circle. So we are making a circle here. The same wire or the same length will be here also. So this will be equal to the circumference. So this, is, this will be equal to the circumference of the circle as well. So 44 will be equal to 2 pi r. So this is r will be equal to 44 by 2 into this is 3.14 and 44 by 2 this is 2 pi r so we have to find out the area okay area so first of all we have to find out the radius so radius will be equal to 7 here this will be 7 it will be 7 because 3.14 is nothing but 22 by 7 so 22 22 cancels 7 goes up so it will be 7 radius is 7 now now we have to find the area. Area will be area of a circle is pi r squared. This is 3.14 into 7 into 7. This question we have already done. The answer we have known to be 154 centimeters squared. The circumference of two circles is in the ratio 2 is to 3. Find the ratio of their areas. So say first one has the radius of r1. So 2 pi r1 is the circumference of the first one. Let us take the radius of the second one as r2. So 2 pi r1 by 2 pi r2, that is the circumference of first one by circumference of second one. The division is given as 2 by 3. So pi pi cancel, 2 2 cancel, r1 by r2 is 2 by 3. Now we have to find the ratio of their, their areas. So area, the ratio of their areas is nothing but pi r1 square by pi r2 square. Now this goes, so we have to find out r1 by r2 whole square. r1 by r2 whole square. But we know r by r1 by r2 is 2 by 3. So I just take the square, this is going to be 4 by 9. So the ratio of their areas will be 4 is to 9. This is the answer. The sum of the radii of two circles is 140 centimeter and the difference of their circumference is 88 centimeter. Find the diameter of the circles. So we have two circles as you see here. This is the first circle, this is the second circle. Now the radius of first we assume to be r1, the other one we assume to be r2. The sum of radii of two circles is 140 centimeter. That is r1 plus r2 is given as 140. And the difference of their circumference, what is the circumference of this one? 2 pi r1. And what is the circumference of this one? That is 2 pi r2. The difference of them, that is this minus this, is going to be 88. Right? So now here what we are going to do? because 
this R1 and R2 we can compare or we can find out a solution from here because the addition of this is 140, 140. So one thing we can do here is because we know that this 2 pi can be taken outside. So you have Rn minus R2 as 88. Now this pi can be written as 22 by 7. So I am just taking it here R1 minus R2 is going to be 88 by 2 into pi I am writing as 22 by 7. Right. This is 44. This is 88. So it is 2 times. You get 14. So R1 minus R2 is 14. See R1 minus R2 is 14 and R1 plus R2 is 140. Now just add these two equations. This gets cancelled. R1 plus R, R1 plus R1 is 2R1 and this is going to be 140 plus 14 and this is 160, 154. So R1 will be equal to 154 by 2, 27 to 14, 27 to 14, it is 77. The other will be 140 minus 77 and this is 3 and this is 13 minus 7 is 6. One is 63, other is 77. One is 63, other is 77. Now we have to find out the diameter. Find the diameter of the circle. So we just have to take 2R1. And this 2 R1 was 154. So the diameter of the first one of R1 radius is 154. This is 154 circumference. And the other one 63. So multiply it by 2. So this will be 6, 126. So 154 and 126 are the diameter of the, these two circles. A horse is placed for graze, grazing inside a rectangular field 40 by 36 meter and is tethered to one corner by a row 14 meter long or how much area can it graze so we have a rectangle the size is 40 by 36 now here this is the corner where the horse is being tied and there is corner by a row 14 meter so here is a 14 meter long long row and here we have the the horse. Now horse can grow graze like this on this direction and in this direction. Okay. So this is 14. This is also 14. This is 14. That, that, that is the radius of this circle and it is not a circle. Let me make a proper circle. But he is only going to graze in this area. So what is the radius? 14. And what is the, because we have to find out the area. Area is, this is one fourth part. And this is you know one part two part three part four part so this is the one fourth part so radius is 14 the area will be equal to this whole area by 2 so what is the whole area pi r square pi into r square 14 square and this is going to be part 4 so you get pi into 14 into 14 by 4 pi can be written as 22 by 7 if you want so 1 by 4 this is this one pi is 22 by 7 14 into 14 and this is going to be 154 meter square so this is the area which the horse can graze and this is the one fourth part of the whole circle we are talking about. So we took the circle as pi r square, 14 square, pi into 14 square and we just divided it by 4. A sheet of paper is in the form of a rectangle ABCD in which AB is 30, this 40 centimeter and AD is 28 centimeter. A semicircular portion with BC as a diameter is cut off. Find the area of the remaining paper. So the question is, we have a sheet of paper. This is A, B, C, D. Now here we have A, B. That is the length, or you can say the yes, length is forty centimeter, and also the width, the width is twenty eight centimeter. Now taking this B, C, B, C as the diameter, a semicircle portion has been cut off. So this portion has been cut off. So we have to find the area of the remaining paper. So what we will do first, we will find out the area of the whole rectangle and we will subtract the area of the semicircle. So what is the area of rectangle? It is length into breadth. So 40 into 28, which is going to be equal to 28 into 4, 8, 4, 32, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 2, 8, 1, 1, 2. So this is 0. So you get 1, 1, 2, 0 as the area of the 1, 1, 2, 0. As the area of this rectangle. Now we have to find the area of this semicircle. What is the radius? 28 is the diameter, so radius is 14. So pi into r, r square, that is 14 into 14. This is pi r square, but this is semicircle. 
So you have to divide it by 2. So ultimately you are doing 0.5 that is 1 by 2 into pi that is 3.14 into 14 into 14. And this is going to come, this is 14 into 14. And this is to come going to come as 308. So you have to find out this, this region. For that you have to take this whole area that is 1120 and subtract this semicircular region that is minus 308 which is going to come as 812 centimeters square. So this is the area of the remaining portion. The radii of two circles are 8 and 6 centimeters respectively. Find the radius of the circle having its e area equal to the sum of the areas of two circles. So we have radius. So area of a circle with a radius as 8 will be radius of two circles is this. So this pi into r square that is 8 square. Let us, let us take it as r1 and pi into the 6 so r2 square. So you take you can take pi common r1 square is 8 square plus 6 square. So 8 square is 64, 6 square is 36. So this is 100. So 100 pi is the area of this sum of the area of two circles. So we have to find the radius of the circle having its area equal to the sum of the two of the circle. So sum we have already taken 100 pi. Now this is going to be equal to pi r square. We have to find out the radius of the circle. So pi pi gets cancelled. r square is equal to 100. r will be equal to under root of 100 that is going to be 10. So 10 is the radius of a circle whose area is sum of these two circles. The radii of two circles are this and this like in a 9. Find the radius and area of a circle which has the circumference equal to the sum of circumference of two circles. So the circumference of the circle, this is the first one, so 2 pi r1, r1 is 19 here, then 2 pi r2, that is the radius of 9 centimeter, the, this is the circumference. So the we have to find out the radius and area of a circle which has circumference equal to the sum of the circumference. So this will be 2 pi r, this is the circle having the circumference equal to these two. So 2 pi you can take outside of first of all r1 plus r2 equal to this 2 pi r. 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled so r1 plus r2 that is simply 19 plus 9 is equal to r. r is equal to 19 plus 9 and that is going to be 19 plus 9 so 18, 8, 1, 3, 8, 28 right. So this is the 28 so r get r is 28. Now we have to find out the area also. Area will be equal to pi r square, so 3.14 into 28 into 28. This is going to be 2464 centimeters square. This is the answer. The side of a square field is 10 centimeters. So we have a square field, all the sides are equal, and the side is given as 10 centimeters. Find the area of the circumscribed and inscribed circle. So what is the circumscribed and inscribed circle? See, inscribed is the inside one, the circle inside this. And what is the circumscribed circle passing through all the corners and which is outside? Okay. So now, because this is a square, and if we want to find out the inscribed circle first of all, this will be the diameter. And what is the diameter? Which is actually the size. I'm trying to find out the inscribed one first. So what is the side which is 10 centimeters? So side is 10 centimeters which is equal to the diameter of the inscribed circle also. The diameter of the inscribed circle is 10. What is the radius? It is going to be 5. Radius is 5. So what will be the area of the circle inscribed? Pi into r square. So this will be pi that is 3.14. R is 5 because this is 10. This will also be 10. So this will is the radius 5. So 5 into 5 and this is going to be 78.5. So this is the area of this, uh, the inscribed circle. When you are coming to the, so this one is a square. When you want to have a sub subscribed one. So if you see, if I join this diagonal, if I join this diagonal, this diagonal is going to be the radius or is the diameter of this outside circle. Right. So what is the radius? It is nothing but the diagonal of a square divided by 2. And what is the diagonal of the, the square? In order to find out the diagonal, it is good to take this as 10. This is as, as 10. What is the diagonal? Because this is 90 degrees, so it will be diagonal will be equal to diagonal square 
will be equal to 10 square that is this side plus this side. So this is going to be 2 10 square and if we want to find out the diameter take this. So 10 is going to come out so 10 root 2. 10 root 2 is the diagonal. Now you have to take this is the diagonal but the radius of the circle will be the diagonal that is the diameter here by 2. So it will be 5 root 2. So now the radius of this circle which is circums, circumscribed is 5 by 2. Now in order to find the area it will be pi into r square r is 5 root 2 into 5 root 2 whole square and this is 5 root 2 into 5 root 2. This is whole square actually 5 root 2 5 root 2. The pi is 3.14 and 5 into 5 is 10 and 2 root 5 5 is 25. Sorry. And root 2 into root 2 is what? 2. So we get a 50 here. 50 into into 3.14. So 50, this 50 into 3.14 and this area this is 50 into 3.14 this is going to come as 157.41. See 5 to 15 around this is going to come. So this is the area of the circle. This other way also you can solve it. This is given in front of you. But the main idea is that the rate the side will be the diameter of the inscribed circle and for the out, outside or circumscribed circle the, the diameter will be equal to the the diagonal will be equal to the diameter if a square is inscribed in a circle find the ratio of the areas of the circle and the square so if a square is inscribed in a circle so there is a circle and here is a square being inscribed right so this has been inscribed inside the circle find the ratio of the area of the circle and the square so if you see that when you join the again the diagonal of the square the diagonal of the square will be the radius will, will be the di diameter of this circle this is the di diameter right so what we are going to do we have already seen this how to do this so first of all in order to find the area of the circle or area of the square first let us take the area of square let us take the side as x so all the sides will be x so area is nothing but side square and side is x so it will be x square now area of the for finding the area of the this uh, circle we have to find out this diagonal and this is going to be see if this is d this is x this is x this is 90 degree so we'll use the Pythagoras theorem. D square will be equal to x square. This side plus this side, x square. This is going to be two x square. So d will be equal to under root of two x square. X will come out. So x root two. Diagonal is this. This uh, diagonal is this one. The length is x root two. But we have to find out the radius. So radius will be what? This by two. So x root two by two is the radius. What is the area of the circle? The area will be pi into r square. This is pi into r square. That is x into root 2 by 2 whole square. So this is will be pi, this x, x, x square will be x square, and root 2 by 2 whole square. So root 2 by 2 into root 2 by 2, this is going to be root 2 into root 2, that is 2, and 2 and 2 is this one. So we get half. We get half. That is pi by, this is pi x square by 2. Now what is the ratio? Ratio of the areas of, of the circle and the square. So we have this is pi x square by 2 and area of circle is pi x square by 2 and here we have x square as the area of this is area of square and this is area of circle. So area of circle by area of square equal to pi x square by 2 and pi and x square this x square. x square x square gets cancelled you get pi by 2 so it is pi by 2 or you can write it as pi is to 2. This is the answer. Next question is uh, the area of a circle inscribed in equilateral triangle is 154 centimeter square. Find the perimeter of triangle. So here we have an equilateral triangle and there is a circle which is inscribed. The area is given. So area of circle is what? Pi r square and this is given as 154. So this will be r will be equal to 154 by pi that is 22 by 7 I am taking 7 up and root so r will be equal to 7. So this radius is 7 from here to here it is 7 from here to here it is 7 so this is also 7 and this is also 7 this is the radius. 
Now we have to find out uh, for the perimeter of a triangle, we have to find this side. How to find this side? Because if you because in a in an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal. That is in this case AB is equal to AC is equal to BC. So there are certain properties of an equilateral triangle. First of all, all the sides are equal, all the angles are 60 degree. And the perpendicular from the vertex to the opposite side is perpendicular, means it is dividing the side. So if I take this side, say as x, so this will be what? Bm will be x by 2, mc will be also x by 2. Okay. So we are going to take this triangle. This is R, this is x by 2. We need to find out this. So how to find this? B, say, let us this say this is BO. We have to find this BO. So in order to get this BO, uh, first uh, we will concentrate on BD as I just suggested that the opposite vertex, if a line is drawn to the side of an equilateral triangle, it is going to be 90 degree, 90 degree and also this is R. How to get this? What is the length of this BD? What is the length of this AM? So this length will be, I'll just show you. I have to find this length, actually this length also. So if I find this length, this length will be equal. So I'll just take this triangle, this is 60 degree. This I'm taking say the side is X. So this will be what? X by 2 as I just suggested, it will be half of this. This will also be X by 2. So if I take, take this triangle and I take tan theta, tan 60 degree, perpendicular by base. So perpendicular is P, base by is x by 2. And we know that this uh, tan 60 is root 3. So I'm it will be equal to P x, x by 2, x by 2 I'm taking here. P will be root 3 by 2 x, which is root 3 by 2 side. X is the side we have taken. So now this whole is BD, which is this one and this one are equal, right? So BD is equal to this whole is root 3 by 2x and this is equal to BO that is this one plus OD. What is this OD? This is R. So I can write this as this OB plus R. So OB becomes root 3 by 2x minus R. I hope you got the idea. Now we have got this, which is root 3 x minus r. This we already know r and this is x by 2. If I take side as x, this will be x by 2. So now I'll, I'll, I'm going to use the Pythagoras theorem. That is this square root 3, uh, let me take it here. Root 3 by 2 x minus r whole square. This is hypotenuse square will be equal to the this side r square plus this side x by 2 whole square. Okay, now this is what we got root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 x minus r whole square equal to r square plus x by 2 whole square. So this is the equation we are getting. Now let me solve this equation. Uh, I'll just open it. I'll just open this equation. So root 3 by 2 uh, x minus r whole square. So root 3 by 2 x whole square plus r square minus 2 into root 3 by 2 x into r. And this is equal to what? x by 2 whole square. That is this one. This we have already opened. This is r square and this is x by 2 whole square. So x by 2 whole square will be equal to x square by 4 and plus r square. So r square, r square gets cancelled. Root 3 by 2 x whole square is 3 by 4 x square minus this gets cancelled. This will be root 3 x r. This is going to be equal to x square by 4. I am taking this on this side, this on this side. This is 3 by 4 x square minus x square by 4 is equal to root 3 x r. Now this x square I am taking common, three, you can just do it, you know, 3, three minus 1 because the denominator are same. So 3 minus 3 x square minus x square is 2 x square by 4 equal to root 3 x r. 1 x gets cancelled from this x. So 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 and this r is going to be this x is going to be 2 into root 3 i'm taking 2 here 2 root 3 into r but r we know this is 7 we have already taken r as 7 this is 7 this is 7 
So I'm putting it here. It will be 2 into 7 into root 3. So R is going to be 14 root 3, which you see here. R is 14 root 3. So now, as I just suggested, that the that the perimeter of this equilateral triangle will be 3 into side. That is 3 into 14 root 3. So this is going to be 42 root 3. 3 into 14 root 3 is going to be 40, 42 root 3. This is the answer. A field is in the form of a circle. A fence is to be erected around this field. The cost of fencing would uh, be 2640 at a rate of 12 per meter. Then the field is to be thoroughly plowed at a cost of this much. What is the amount required to plow the field? So now a field is in the form of a circle. A fence is to be erected around the field. So we have a circumference here. The cost of fencing would be 2640 at a rate of 12 per meter. So we have to find out that what is this? That is 260 at a rate of 12 per meter. The cost of fencing would be that is 2640 at a rate of rupees 12 per meter. So how many meter is there? See, say the circumference is C. So if you multiply it by 12, that is circumference is nothing but in meter, and this is 12 per meter. Circumference is in meter and this is 12 per meter. So if you multiply them, the cost will be 2640. So in order to find out the circumference, you just have to divide 2640 by 12. And this is going to be 220. So the circumference of this circle is 220. Then the field is to be thoroughly plowed at a cost of this much. That is totally plowed. So area we have to find out. The circumference is what? This one. It can be equated to 2 into pi into r. So this will be 3.14 and 4 into r, which is this one. r will be equal to 220 by 2 into this, this can be written as 22 by 22 by 7. So this is 10, you get 70 by 2, that is 35. Radius is 35. So what is the area? Area will be pi r square, that is pi 3.14 into r square, 35 into 35. And now the cost per meter square is 0 0.50 and this is meter square only. So you just have to multiply this by 0.5. So this is going to be, this is going to be from here to here, it is going to be 3850 multiplied by 0 0.5. You get 1925 is the cost of flowing per meter square land. A park is in the form of a rectangle 120 into 100 meter. So it is 120 by 120 by 100 meters. So this is 120, this is 100 meters. At the center of a park, this, this is the center, there is a circular lawn. The area of a park excluding lawn is this much. So if you take out this lawn, the area is this much. Find the radius of the circum is the circular lawn. So what is the area of this rectangle? It is 120 by 100. So area is simply length into breadth. So 120 into 100. That is 1200. Zero. Now the area excluding this is what? This is already given. So area excluding this is given as 8700. So in order to find out the area of this one, we have to subtract the whole area that is total area by the this other than circular lawn. So 12,000 minus 8700 is the area of the circular lawn which is going to be 3300. We have to find the radius of the circular lawn. So area is known for the circular lawn. Just put it as pi r square. So r will be equal to 3300 0 by uh, 22 by 7, 22 into 22 into 7 into 7. I am writing pi as, no, I am writing uh, this 3300 pi as 22 by 7. So 11 to the 22, 11 3 is uh, 3300. 0, 0. It is 150, 150 into 7. You take a r as the root. You get r as 32.4. The radius is 3.24. This is what has to be found out. A truck travels one kilometer distance in which each wheel has 450 revolutions. Let's find the radius of the of the wheel. So a truck travels one kilometer distance. We are interested in wheel. It travels one kilometer distance in which each wheel makes 450 complete revolutions. So one revolution that is 2 pi r, this total boundary or the circumference, one from here to here means if this is the ground, 
So it will go up and come down. So for one complete circle, it is 2 pi r is the is the size, or is it is you can say 2 pi r into 450, which is the which is the complete evolution. So this 450 is nothing but equal to it is traveling for one kilometer. One kilometer. So one kilometer because we have to find out the radius of the wheel. So let us take it as one kilometer is it is equal to one thousand meter. So what will be what will be the r? One thousand by two into three point one four into four fifty. Okay, and this r is going to be to be you can just write it as one thousand one thousand by nine pi if you want. But you can solve it also. This will be the radius. I hope you got the idea because one turn it takes. It takes 450 turns. So 450 times the circumference turn it is taking. Right. So 2 pi r. And this is equal to 1 kilometer. It is traveling. It means the distance it has covered from here to here. That is 1000. This is how we find out the r. The area enclosed between the concentric circle is this much. If the radius of outer circle is 21 centimeter, then find the radius of the inner circle. So this concentric circle means the center are same. The center is same for this circle also and this circle also. But we are given that the area goes between the concentric circle, that is the pink area, which is 770. If the radius of the outer circle is 21 centimeter, find the area of the inner circle. So we will find out the area of the outer circle, that is pi into r outer. So it is, let me write it as r outer. Pi, pi r outer. And if you take out this area, that is subtract the inner area, r inner square, you get the area of this pink region, that is 770. So this is pi, I am taking pi out, r outer here is 21 whole square, minus r, I don't know this one, so let, it, let, it, let us write it as r square only, is 77, 770, pi is what, 22 by 7, so I am writing it as 22 by 7. So this 770 is r1 square minus r2 square by pi, this is pi. So this r1 square minus, that is 21 square, that is 21 into 21 is 21, 42 is 441. So 441 minus r square is equal to, this is 245. If you solve it, you get 245. This r1 square will be what? 245, I am taking it this here, bringing it here. r1 square will be equal to 441 minus 245. So this is going to be, say 2, this is 11, 11 minus 5 is 6. And this will be 13, 13 minus 4, so it will be 9, and this is going to be 1. R1 square is 196, and R1 will be equal to under root of 196, so R1 will be R1. I am writing R1, that is R internal, it is going to be 14. So 14 under root 196 is 14. 